Welcome. I would like to introduce myself. My name is John Miller and I will be your presenter today. This is the second episode of our online series of presentations. This is a short presentation where we would like to show you the new technology in our growing portfolio of products. I am pleased to announce that Simulan version 4 is now available for download at our website www.metel.eu. As in version 3, the Simulan version 4 can configure the devices online or offline. These configurations can be prepared even without access to the devices to be configured. We can upload the configurations into the devices at a later time. The current version of Simuland is already equipped for full use in new systems. This means it fully supports all switches of the third generation, programmable control units of IP log series and I.O. modules or sensors of the IP Send series. A version which fully supports older devices will be published by the end of 2016. Over the coming year of 2017, we plan to gradually add tools that help designers when developing new systems or documentation of existing systems. These include export topology drawings to PDF or JPEG format, export list of devices into XLS or CSV, and simulation network load. The new version of Simuland has minimal system requirements. The program can be used in basically any Windows desktop or laptop computer supporting Windows 7 or higher. Normally, new customers often ask why we use our application in place of the web interface. The reasons are many. One is that our switches and IC modules are installed in the system typically in large quantities. The web-based configurations of each device would require a lot of time by the user, especially when setting up the VLAN RSTP configurations the devices are connected to the ring or the automated actions when you are transferring the status information from device to device. The customer will value the efficient graphical interface. Another advantage is that Simuland allows all devices to be configured in an online or offline mode. Configuration, therefore, can be prepared in advance and uploaded to the device at a later time. The last advantage I would like to mention is that Simuland is simple and easy to understand for the general public. A short training seminar on how to use and work with Simuland is enough to satisfy the requirements to configure large systems. Having knowledge of the workings of network protocols is the only prerequisite for success in using Simulan version 4. The application is available in Czech, English, and Polish language versions. After selecting the language, Simulan will automatically restart the application. This can be viewed on the video. A variety of our new and innovative features can be found in the main menu tools. Now we will discuss each tool individually. Before starting the device configuration, it is required to create a new project and name. Each technician is responsible for multiple systems. All projects are saved to Simulan which allows for easier control and monitoring of the system. It allows the user to freely create and delete projects to import or export and share all projects with colleagues. One common problem in most systems is missing or faulty documentation. This leads us to the most important improvement of Simuland. Our new tool for automatic drawing of topology is useful for these situations. For more complicated topologies, the searched devices are displayed in the upper left corner and the customer can move them at their discretion. In the Simulan settings, you can define the data displayed by devices such as IP address, MAC address, type, and description. Devices are grouped according to their type of topology. The TOP layer only shows miniatures and backbone switches. The topology icon for LAN ring, RSTP, and the icon for groups of the devices which have disabled LAN ring and RSTP protocol. 
The top layer displays the end devices, for example, the control unit. After double clicking on the icon, an optical ring automatically displays the devices connected to the LAN ring. Diagnostic tools allow you to view the amount of data being transferred, the activity of interconnections, port numbers, and other important information. If you double click on any device icon, it will take you to an IP devices layer. It will display a detailed view of the selected device. In the toolbar is a tool for online information such as port activity, input status, and status of outputs, or for example, the size of the power supply. Online info can show the status of protocols LAN ring or RSTP. MIOS lowest layer is intended for online viewing of the status of the I.O. modules and sensors connected to the MIOS RS-485 bus. Projects include switches and control units, which are identified by an IP address, and MIOS I.O. modules and sensors connected via the RS-485 bus. To be configured, first, the device must be searched, which only takes one click. A point of interest is that while MIOS modules are connected to the RS-485 bus, they can be monitored and configured by SNMP or Modbus protocol. The search engine automatically adds the MIOS device into a tree structure directly under the unit to which they are connected. The switches and control units produced have a set and unique IP address. It is possible to change all IP addresses and other network settings at a later time. The unique IP addresses are created from MAC addresses. We have created a quick configuration tool which allows you to automatically change the options for the following. IP address, DNS, gateway, mask, enable or disable PoE, or set the packet filtering on the ports automatically and at one time. In the video, you can see how easy it is to change IP addresses, DNS, gateway, and mass. At any time during the configuration, you can bulk download settings to all devices. After downloading the configuration, Simulan displays the number of changes needed to be saved. You can download the configuration of all devices at one time, or only the devices selected using the left mouse button and the control or shift keys. As previously mentioned, Simulan can configure all devices offline. You can configure the recording equipment to be individually or collectively uploaded. All unsaved changes to the devices are marked in red. Uploading works in several steps. The first step is to download the configuration of the devices. Then, the differences are detected between the new downloaded configuration and the configuration already prepared in the computer. 
In the end, it creates a new upload configuration for the devices. Another new addition to Simuland is that part of the installation includes the latest firmware of the device. According to the icons displayed on the desktop, the device can easily be identified and information as to whether that device is available. A green icon indicates that this device is available. A red icon indicates that this device is unavailable. A yellow icon indicates that these devices may not be compatible. This incompatibility may be due to the fact that the program is an older version and no longer compatible with the manufacturer's version. In this case, the program must be updated to the latest version. We have significantly expanded our set of support tools. For example, for times when you need remote configuration assistance, we have integrated directly in the Simuland chat client for text communication with our technical support department. In January 2017, the upgrade will also be added to the VPN client through which we will be able to help configure the system remotely. Compared to commonly used VPN tools, our VPN is safer for our customers because the customer does not give over control of their computer. After activating the VPN connection, our technical support can only access the customer's open project. We will not have access to other projects, programs, or other data stored in the computer. The second advantage is the small requirement of bandwidth needed, as our VPN transmits only the status information without graphics. With each new device or a new version of firmware, Simuland must be updated. Simuland automatically checks to make sure all versions are up to date and when necessary, automatically installs a newer version. We are always grateful for any feedback or suggestions for improvement. This feedback can now be directly sent from within the Simuland program. Many of our product systems are cut off from outside sources due to security protocol or regulations. This leaves technicians with limited resources and or options for technical support. Simuland is now equipped with a help manual, therefore it is not necessary to download anything from the internet. If you want to know what's new in Simuland, just click on the news option to access the chronological list of fixes and improvements to the program. For more information, please visit our website at www.metel.eu. Thank you very much for your time.